Gallo Film Festival was um, an idea that actually Anthony had himself long before he died. He and I had talked about the possibility of actually bringing a film festival to the Isle of Wight. And Anthony at the time was uh, chairman of the British Film Institute. And of course they staged one of the most fabulous film festivals in the world in London. And then when Anthony died, you know, and people were talking about kinds of memorial um, for him and it seemed to me that making that happen would be a fantastic way of celebrating his achievement um, and, and doing something on the island which he loved and you know very famously loved. We have three ambitions as a, as a festival. The, the three things are to, uh, to, to commemorate and celebrate Anthony Mangella's achievement um, in artistic terms. We seek to inspire young people in Anthony's name and we seek to support local charities primarily for young people. All of those things are very very important in enabling the, the festival to fulfil all its aims which aren't just about celebrating Anthony's achievement but also about inspiring young people and helping young people. We give any money that we raise, we are giving immediately back into the community to support young people. And so, of course, we have this fantastic sort of symbiotic relationship with the Young Chamber because, of course, young people are working on our festival, raising money for young people's benefit, which is you know, marvellously empowering and enabling for them and absolutely as Anthony always was in his life because he had a gift which was extraordinarily rare, of being able to find the nugget of gold in every human being and help them to develop it. The original idea was to start out by actually presenting his entire work, his oeuvre for cinema, in one weekend as and celebrating what he'd achieved himself by looking at the things that he had, he had done and we thought they would be very inspiring together and it would allow us to see whether there was a will and a spirit on the island you know, to, to progress it. So actually the BFI were really important because they helped us to get good copies of the film and you know, all Anthony's friends rallied round and so Alan Rickman and Jude Law, you know, once I knew that they were going to come and help us really, uh, the rest was a lot easier than it might have been. Finding venues was probably the, the first thing that caused me, uh, has caused me over time to be a little anxious because although we have some marvellous places here, I would like first of all for it to be more whole island, you know, rather than just based in the centre of Newport. And another issue for us is that at the size of them, the quality of the screens, we need fantastic world-class cinema screens, a range of sizes of cinemas to be available to us. We want to show not just straightforward movies, but also, you know, all the peripheral things of, about that. So this year we had script writing classes. We had um, short film competitions for young people, which were fantastic. Um, we'd love to show a music concert, you know, but to bring world-class musicians here with big orchestras, you need a very large concert area in order to make that possible and whilst we have great wonderful open air summer events here like the things at Osborne House where we've got those outdoor opportunities actually indoor auditorium with fantastic sound quality and you know and, and really worthy of the quality of the of the events we're bringing here is something I think that challenges us still. All the technicalities of operating a festival on the island actually seem to come to us quite easily in that um, the BFI were a marvellous, they're a marvellous support and of course they absolutely understand what we're doing and were able to help us with all of that. Finding support and sponsorship and you know a lot of other of the, the ways forward, those things are really challenges when you're setting out in an independent group, a very small group of volunteers all with day jobs, you know, <laughs> trying to, to set up something like this, that is quite a challenge. We live in one of the most beautiful gems of a spot in the world and I sometimes pinch myself because here we are in, in, a, in a wonderful place and so to bring people to it and, and share it with the sorts of people who would come to a film festival, I'm sure that that would encourage great interest in the island and bring a lot of business in season and out of season you know we have deliberately positioned this festival at a time of the year when it doesn't compete with other 
um, activities going on, on on the island in order to bring people here so that they're spending money, so that they're using the wonderful accommodation that's beginning to be um, developed here. Fantastic hotels we're getting now. And, you know, they're eating and drinking and visiting Osborne House and going to Carisbrook Castle and, you know, and, and seeing what we have to offer. And they're coming back again. The status of the island as a, as a heritage site um, and it's uh, and the fact that it is an area of outstanding natural beauty uh, is, I think, very important to all of us who who seek um, to bring visitors to the island. Because as, as well as you know, when you're trying to to tell people they can come and have a marvelous time and go and see 13 films in 13 hours, and I exaggerate only slightly, uh, there are lots of other things for them to do here and and other opportunities for relaxation. For example, when we brought Lord Putnam and his wife to the island in 2009. They were, they were blown away by how beautiful it is. As we know, people like Jude Law um, can't keep away. He loves to bring his children and sail and, you know, and have a marvellous time. Marketing the festival is a, is a challenge to us because, of course, um, we're a tiny team. We have a very limited budget and so we have to confine ourselves to areas where we feel get, we'll get the best return most quickly. Um, and this year we have been very blessed to have a very good website which we, drives a lot of traffic to us um, and that's very important. We have a very good Twitter page and we tweet and we've got a Facebook page um, and that, you know, that does help to promote the festival. Um, but we've relied enormously on, uh, on the web, I must say, and the BFI helped promote us nationally and internationally. And we, and we have had visitors from all over the world. And there's this great family atmosphere in our festival because by the time we've kind of spent all this, you know, these long hours together in the dark, we feel we know each other terribly well and we, and we have made friends through it. It's been marvellous. The, the support of local business in, in very constrained times Economically, um, you might imagine that people would be throwing up their hands in horror when we approach to ask for their help. But I've got to say that it's been, it really has been humbling to be supported by so many businesses locally. If, if someone were to approach me and ask about setting up an event on the island now, I would say there's an awful lot of homework to do. An interest on its own, I would say, probably isn't enough. You need an interest, a market, and you definitely need some money. Um, and then you need a, a huge amount of energy and, and a lot of luck. There's no time to sit still. You have to be constantly reinventing yourself and looking at what your market wants and, and asking questions of yourself and challenging yourself. And I think an event has to be you know of that order doesn't it if it's going to be of uh, worthy of, of staging and the Isle of Wight needs great events it needs things to be really successful and and you know really worthy of a world stage we don't want to be country bumpkins we want to have an event here like cows which is you know the sailing event in in the calendar we need to be aiming to have cultural events of the same class and my real ambition for our film festival is to acquire patronage and support from people like Duncan Kenworthy, people like Harvey Weinstein who worked alongside my brother and are international movers and shakers. If they become interested really firmly embedded within our festival then we will attract the talent and we will attract the opportunity that make our event the sort of thing that I really have in my head. When I was approached by Carrie Armand, whose job it was at the time to run the young chamber in local schools mm -hmm. about whether Mingela ice cream would want to be involved, I said, well, the ice cream will be involved and we, we do do something with them now every year, but I've got another project for you. Mm -hmm. And this, is a, this project is a very real world and absolute business thing. And she has been fantastic because one of the great features and the unique features of our festival mm -hmm. is how many young people are actively involved in making it happen. And so we've got 15, 16, 17 year olds having the opportunity to work alongside national figures, you know, on a, a completely real project. And they love it. And you know, they're amazing. They are absolutely fantastic. They really know what they're doing. And, you know, they've, they've brought so many compliments and accolades for themselves, their parents and their schools. They've been really, it, it's wonderful. It makes me feel very full of pride.